Welcome back, folks. It is October 21st, Thursday morning. As you can see, it's uh, it's almost 3 a.m. and I kind of get up around this this early to uh, check the overseas markets and uh, just to see how how they're trading and to get a beat on futures and and just to get my day started. Anyway, I wanted to go over Amlin Pharma Pharmaceuticals. Um, this kind of covers the the biotech trade in your manual, uh, the trading manual, how to trade options on uh, momentum stocks. Uh, as you can see, uh, this stock took a 46% haircut, traded down to 951 today. Um, what I want to show you real quick is that we had these November 24s on our watch list, and I told everybody they would probably be getting some uh, FDA news um, either this week or next week. So I didn't list any put options with this because really it was just on our watch list and we've, you know, we've had about eight or nine trades going and, you know, I've had some exposure to some biotech uh, plays with some of our other trades. Um, but what I want to show you here is, is the, the power of, you know, if I would have used this as a straddle or a strangle and, and most of the time when, when these drug companies go through phase one, two and three trials, their stock price is going to pretty much take a big hit whether the drug gets approved or not or it's going to you know go up so again we had the 24s listed they closed um, as you can see right here um, on Tuesday afternoon at 45 cents and then the 17s here um, they closed Tuesday at 70 cents 69 cents somewhere in there Ooh. Having trouble tonight with the uh, cursor. So basically to get into a, uh, a straddle trade on Amlin would have cost you about, uh, let me see here, it, it would have cost you around $1.15. So, you know, if you just would have bought one contract of each, you know, you were looking at $115. Bucks. Um, but then again, if you were, you know, if you were looking at 10 contracts, which is, is what we try to trade here, um, you know, then then you were looking at about eleven hundred and fifty bucks. Uh, as you can see, these these puts here lost ninety five percent, but the uh, I mean the calls, but the puts here they gained uh, roughly like seven hundred and fifty five percent. You'll see right here, um, but the high was nine fifty, and. Um, Basically, if you would have sold these at the open because they open at 720 and waited five or ten minutes, you probably could have got this this 950 price. Um, that would have maxed your trade out at like 725 percent. Um, but if you just would have closed out near the close yesterday here at 590, uh, your this trade would have would have made 400 percent. Um, again, that was the the strangle trade. Um, you also could have looked at the uh, the November twenty calls and the November twenty puts as a as a straddle, and basically those are closed. You know that that position would have cost you a little bit more because the calls here closed at uh, around two dollars on Tuesday afternoon, and then you'll see the puts here. They closed at uh, around a dollar sixty on Tuesday. So it would have cost you around about three sixty five maybe three seventy three seventy five to get in this trade, so you know for three hundred seventy five bucks you could have done a straddle um and as you can see here the the twenties lost um you know almost a hundred percent of their value there at two cents um while the the puts here they gained uh you know, about 450 percent so basically you know the the straddle uh, would have cost you a little bit more which kind of limits your your overall returns um, and that would have brought you about a hundred and forty five percent again I feel bad because I didn't list both sides of this trade um, but there was a lot of talk that this this diabetes drug was going to get approved amongst the uh, the peers in the industry and if you if you've followed us for a while you'll notice that you know like VVUS uh, that was another diabetes drug we have been watching and, and that one tanked 
Um, you can see the 52-week high here. Um, and, and the only thing I can tell you is, you know, there is a need for an obesity drug. Um, right now, this stock is just going to languish here in the, in the teens probably for the next six months. So the way to set you up uh, in the future here, just like I said, just keep this on your watch list. You really don't have to do much with it, you know, unless it's a buyout target. But, you know, you can start looking at some of these options, the, the 1250s maybe, um, and these options don't expire until, you know, 2012. So it's about a year out. Um, but right now this is going to be dead money, so you really don't have to, you know, there's nothing to do really right now. In fact, you know, shares could kind of go lower, um, because a lot of mutual funds own this and the end of the quarter is coming up. So, uh, you know, they might just dump more stocks. So, uh, again, um, when you're looking at biotech trades and are going through phase one, two, and three, uh, you almost have to be certain if you're going to play a directional trade on it, if it's going to be, you know, approved, the drug's going to be approved. And then, you know, if you're pretty certain that, you know, the drug's not going to get approved, then then you look at, uh, you know, buying puts and going that route. But if you don't know, uh, like I said, or if you're scared or you want to play it safe, um, you can do these kind of trades. Um, and that covers, you know, the straddles and strangle part of the manual too. And I'm, I'm trying to show everyone a lot of different examples um, because on our watch list, we do list a lot of stocks. Um, you know, like I said, we're following this one here, uh, Biodell, and it was pretty weak too today, uh, yesterday because of, you know, the news. The whole sector was kind of weak, but uh, we have hopes for this. Um, again, this drug, um, like I said, it's got coverage initiated here. Um, you've got all these people saying buy ratings. Um, so again, uh, you know, we'll see how Biodel goes, but we've got that strangled and then we've got the, uh, the March options too. Um, but this is a risky trade folks. You see how, uh, Amlin traded. Um, and I just wanted to, to go over this because sometimes in the watch list, like I said, those stocks are or on the verge of a breakout or a breakdown, and sometimes I'll just list a uh, call or put, um, you know, and just, you know, in the future, add your own research to it, and uh, if any of you did happen to do a straddle or a strangle in this trade, uh, congratulations. Uh, I'll try to be back this weekend uh, or next weekend, and I'll keep doing some updates for you, but in the meantime, uh, hopefully you're getting a good feel for the manual, and uh, again, thanks for your purchase. Until next time.